Oi. Welcome. I've been out and spent some money. What? I've spent some money. What on crap? It's not. No, no. As you know, I'm moving the boat and I'm moving it to the Wales Harbour. But I need to get to the boat, so I needed a dinghy. So there was a very special offer going on. So look, look, look what I bought. Look what I bought. Yeah. Look, look, look. In here. In here. Is. Look at that. That's part of the floor. Uh, this is the front bit. The wife's not very happy, by the way, but don't worry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this, this is the bit here. This bit here, I think you see it. Is it giving you a clue what it is? This is the transom. Yeah, yeah. This goes, this apparently goes on the back of the boat. But as you notice, it's detachable. No, it fell off. Uh, anyway, look. It's come with two oars. So there you go. I, 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 I think it's amazing, don't you? Look, so it's got two of these. Let's just check this one. Yep. There we go. Now, the gentleman who sold it to me has had it a few years. At sold. Yeah, I did pay money for it. I know. <laughs> Not a lot. We. We won't mention how much because the wife's around. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, you've obviously guessed what it is. Yeah, it's it's an inflatable boat. Anyway, let's just take it out. Now he assures me, right, that it's uh, it will pump up and it will stay up. So let let, let me just uh, put the camera so you can see me as I. Let's move it over here onto the grass. Uh, now, he he, yes, he, he assures me that it's it, it's a good one. Right. And do you know what? Hang on, you can't see me. When when I saw, he, he had an honest face. Yeah, honest face. We're just going to undo it for you. So you can see it. Here it goes, look. Now, it, it, it's a little bit dirty, right? But only a little bit. This apparently, so this is the bit that the engine fits on, and it's got a bunk. There you go. So it's a Cebu. Cebu, it's, it's made by a company called Silver Marine. Oh. But it looks like it needs pumping up. So, and it's a little bit dirty. But not too dirty, I don't think. So, what I'm going to do is before. Hang on, you can't see me, can you? Yeah, before, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump it up and see how long it stays up for, because I'm not going to mess around cleaning it and doing all the work on it if it don't hold air. Uh, but it does need a new transom by the looks of it. Anyway, I'm going to switch it off now and I'm going to go and see if I can find a, a pump and pump it up. See you in a minute. Right, <laughs> well there you go. We've, we've, we've blown it up, but we couldn't blow it up as hard as it should be because I've only got a sort of an airbed uh, blower thing that we use for the kids thingies so I'm gonna have to get a proper blower for it but I'm gonna blow it up see how long it stays up for but it just needs a good clean the 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 only problem is I don't know if you can see at the back here is that the transom needs quite a bit of absolutely feel it's spiders and things oh don't like spiders uh, yeah, the, the the transom needs a bit of work doing on it. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll have to have a look at that, take that off. But I think the most important thing at the moment is just give it a good old clean, don't you? But look at that. Uh, I don't know if the oars are the correct oars for it. Uh, let's go and find them, shall we? I think they are, because they did have... Let's have a look. 
uh, if they fit on the side. Let, let, let's put you on pause. Well, believe it or not, uh, the oars actually fit. They're the correct ones because they've gone on the screw. Look, and they they go in there and fit in fit in those clamps. Well, it just needs a good clean, does it? It's just hope it stands stays uh, inflated. And if it stays inflated, I think we're on a winner here, don't we? Just needs a good uh, a good clean, doesn't it? So I think that might be my next job. Is give it a good clean, I think, don't you? And then uh, we can go from there, can't we? Uh, the uh, and the transom, of course, needs looking at. So should we? I think take that off, don't you? Yeah, it it looks like uh, no disrespect. It looks like it's had a bit of a Heath Robinson thing done to it. So uh, yeah. Well, as long as it gets me to and fro, I don't know how long it is. I, I'm only allowed one, two, three. It's got to be under. It's got to be under 12 foot, apparently. But that's uh, that's okay, isn't it? Well, I think I think I've got a result here. Right, let's go and clean it. Well, after uh, an hour, hour and a half with the jet wash, we've uh, cleaned it all up. Got uh, 99, well, not 99 now, about 90% of the rubbish off it. Uh, had a good look around. Uh, yes, the transom definitely needs some work done on it. Uh, it looks like it's been, I wouldn't say bodged, but it looks like they've had a go at it. Let me just show you, show you. You can see they've they've replaced the transom at some time, and then they've put some reinforcing around the outside. Uh, so I've got to take that off and redo that. Whether I put a new transom in or we just re-glue it. So that's wrong with that. Uh, I've pumped them up and they've actually stayed up quite well. So I don't think we've got any leaks. We've got a few other areas uh, which we've got to look at. Uh, namely that uh, some of the tape. Let me just turn it over for you. Then you can actually see what else we've got wrong with it. Uh, as you can see underneath. Uh, the main rubbing strip, that's on nice and solid. There's no problem with this, this is on. But we've got areas like this where this tape here has come off and wants re-sticking. Uh, so we've got that to do. Uh, but not, I'll tell you what, for, it's not too bad. It, it is just this, uh, this transom here that uh, we've got to look at and, and sort that out. There's a few videos on YouTube God bless YouTube, what would I do without it, that uh, does actually uh, show us, let me turn it around in the sun so you don't get the shade on it, yeah, that does actually show us uh, what we've got to do with it. But I don't think that's too bad, is it? Uh, that certainly will do me from getting to and fro from the boat to the shore when I go out there when it's at uh, high water. Because as I did say, if you've watched some of the earlier ones, I can walk across at low water to the boat, but not at high water. So there you go. Uh, things are moving along. Hopefully boat B moved next week. And uh, we can just see. So uh, yeah, we've just got to work out. Uh, I tried in vain to try and get these screws out of here. These... Uh, and I just can't do it, so I'm, I might have to uh, attack it with a chisel and just split the wood and then take them out with some, some mole grips or something. But I will try. I'll get a bigger headed uh, Phillips screwdriver, see if I can do it that way, because uh, that would help. Don't want to do too much work. So yeah, successful day, I think, don't you? Oh, there's one other thing I've got to show you. Yeah. We've managed to pick an anchor up. Look at that. Uh, it's only an old one. It uh, shows her how old it is. The actual weight is still in pounds, not in kilos. Uh, but I think that will be okay. I was advised by the harbour master. Yeah, 20, 20, it said 20 pounds to get one of these plough ones because apparently down, down in the harbour it's all sand and uh, that would grip better. So we've got an anchor. Got to work out how much chain I need. I'm not sure. Yeah, do you need... You know, five meters, ten meters, twenty meters of chain. Not sure. So, 
that's another thing i'm sure somebody on ebay on youtube will tell me anyway so there you go that's uh that's a good day what uh what do we need i should have an amazon wish list shouldn't i uh but uh at the moment i got a wife's wish list i'm thinking of not having an outboard but getting a uh little electric one one of those little trolley motors but i think at the moment i can row it across that's not a problem uh what else do we need uh proper life jackets but i mentioned that on the last one uh proper life jackets uh, marine radio i've decided to get you can i'm gonna buy a brand new handheld one amazon do them for about 70 pound i think which isn't too bad i think and then i'm gonna pick up an old second hand one that actually goes in the boat you know that runs off 12 volts yeah so uh yeah see there's another bit there i can see it's coming off there just one sticking down yeah i think uh well it's not as if i'm going to go across the atlantic in it i'm only i'm only going about about uh, 35 yards from the shore to the boat and back again so it doesn't have to be uh 100 percent does it so that's good anyway uh yeah i'm doing what else am I doing? i'm doing research on solar because because the boat's going to be in the harbour there on dry dock if i want to work on it i'm going to need power of some description you know for, for the power tools and bits and pieces so i'm now looking at uh, what type of solar to use batteries and panels and everything so i'm doing a bit of research on that and that's another minefield anyway thanks a lot for watching be good be happy and don't forget be kind to those animals